We, <laughs> we're setting some criteria. One thing that yes, we found. Yes, that's a good way to say it. One thing that we found is that there are lots of places, not in Colorado, not in Utah, and not, not in, in Nevada, where there is property that the prices are reasonable. <laughs> We're still in the snow. No, you're not doing that. We're still in the snow. It was eight degrees this morning, but it's sunny. I mean, super blue sky. Well, it, it warms up into the th upper 30s. So yeah. it's, it's We went for a wonderful walk days. yesterday. Yeah. I thought I'd talk about some of our um, vegetables. You remember that we had a lot of vegetables when we left our homestead. And, uh, we took this spaghetti squash and we... You know, I just had a thought about the homestead. It, you, you gotta love social media. The people who are moving into the house found us oh, from... Yeah. I don't know what. Yeah, I guess we're popular, I don't know. <laughs> a anyway, they, they realized the place they were moving into was the place we had just moved out of. So I don't know if they found it as a result of that. I don't know the whole story. It, uh, but anyway, they had some questions for us and they contacted us through Facebook to to ask us the questions they had to ask. I, just, I know, I'm dying to say, okay, people we don't your know. garden is all prepared <laughs> <laughs> and you'll have potatoes coming up and tomatoes coming up. <laughs> I really do want to tell them that because yeah. hey, if they've been following us in there, it's really nice to know that somebody's yeah. going to move in there that yeah. maybe might care about it. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Anyway, so we had all these vegetables. Sorry for the deviation, <laughs> but the, the vegetables, thinking of the garden, maybe I know. think of it. So we had all these vegetables and we divvied them up as we've gone along the way. People have enjoyed us coming over. We've brought good food. I know, and when we went to my sister's, we um, put them at her house, at two of my brother's houses, and we cooked a bunch of them, and just bunch and bunch and bunch. And I only had two left. My other brother was coming speaking, over to get them. Speaking of her sister's house, what we've heard, as you remember, we encouraged them to take the leaves they had bagged up and put them on their their uh, garden their garden <laughs> and now they've also got went and got a bunch of other organic material to spread people's out people's leaves other people's so leaves. They, they've gathered up a lot but they're they're tuned in they're they're making it happen yeah she called me she goes okay we put a bunch more leaves on but they've had good luck with their gardening they are going to be amazed at the difference of having this down on there to get the soil prepped. It's going to make a big difference. Anyway. Meanwhile, back at the vegetables. <laughs> it's making me think of things. We used every single one of them. And I thought, okay, they're gone. It was wonderful. I know I still have butternut squash at my son's house. I'm going to take those with us to Pennsylvania and we'll use those all winter. But the spaghetti squash is gone. We come back here to Nevada and I opened the garage and there are at least 10 or 12 more right there. And I went, and they've been eating them. Oh so. yeah, we left them with them. So now I got to cut them up and start using but them. But it's been great. I mean, we've had just had and had and had and I'm still loving it. It's great. Well, we eat it with spaghetti on top, with the homemade marinara sauce. That Even we with made. that, just with and butter. And now we've just been eating them with butter and salt and so good, so good, so good, so good. Speaking of butter. Speaking of garlic. We're excited to get to our butter churn, but what we've learned about in Pennsylvania is uh, there is a dairy, and it, we thought it was all the way across town from us, but it sounds like looking it's, at the map, it's close it's to where we're going to be. And these are folks who had, they had a mixture. They had, they had Jersey Holstein milkers. Jersey Holsteins. Okay. And then they saw the push for more better milk. So now they've gone to grass fed and straight jerseys. A2, A2. A2, A2. So we're very and excited. they're close to us. We're gonna have you having so good milk I've already again. looked up where we're getting our milk and yep. our grass fed beef from. These are garlics. This bag is full of garlics that we brought. Thanks to I'm pushing, I'm pushing her. <laughs> Steve, the Youngs. Steve, the Youngs. And... I 
don't know, Jim. We don't need to say their name on here okay, anyway. Anyway, thank, thank, if you're watching, thanks. We, we, we've been enjoying them everywhere we've been. Anyhow, so but my car, I got in the car the other day and I went, it's been eight degrees in the mornings. Hmm. It smells like an Italian restaurant. <laughs> It's because of the garlic, so they're you, a little bit. You think bit we frozen. were driving an Italian car? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my hands are getting really cold now, but just <laughs> we're a, in the shade. I know he wouldn't let me stand in the sun. Yeah, well, you know how sun does to camera. All right, so a little bit. Um, we've been doing a lot of looking on on a place to live, and <sighs> we <laughs> we're setting some criteria. One thing that yes, we found. that's a good way to say it. One thing that we found is that there are lots of places, not in Colorado, not in Utah, and not, not in Nevada, in... where there is property that the prices are reasonable. You get a fair amount of acreage, good land, where you can actually get rainfall, green things grow you naturally. You get forest, you get pasture, you get grass. And the prices aren't <laughs> exorbitant. So, and we're setting a temperature. So we've, yeah, that, that's what we've decided is that we want seven we, we wanna, months we of wanna, growing. Yeah, we want seven months of growing. So we're looking at high and low temperature ranges, frost dates, those not, types of things. Not hotter than ninety, and not lower than thirty. Twenty. Oh, twenty it, average. And the bottom, the yeah, bottom, the, but the, the high lowest. average. I mean, the average high for the day was in the high thirties. Yes. That's yes. as, I mean, now, yes, there's always outliers. We know that. But yeah. Anyway, so we've, so, so we've those set are the a little criteria. line. We've drawn a little line yeah. across the United States of where we were looking. And uh, it's kind of fun to do. And we just. Um, but we do realize we, we're at least a year out from, from making that selection. But we're going to, we're narrowing it down and we'll be ready. When the time yeah. comes, we'll be ready. And just a little tiny bit about um, getting out of debt. We um, follow the Dave Ramsey thing, and so we've been doing the snowball, and we had one left. We and, still have one left. Well, we've been paying on it, but you're supposed to have a $1,000 emergency fund for emergencies, and Oliver was a true emergency, yes. and it was really nice to be able to have that, to be able to draw on it, and now this next time when we're supposed to pay off that bill we're going to put that thousand dollars back into the emergency fund and then pay off the bill a, a month a, you know a few weeks a couple weeks later than we were going to be able to yep. but but it's really nice to have that we have had that emergency fund and we were even talking like should we just go ahead and pay off the bill or should we put the money back in the emergency fund and we both agreed Especially Emergency traveling fund. and stuff, we need to have, we have money set aside for our trip, we have money set aside for everything, ex except the dog, <laughs> and he, you know, so anyway, um, yeah, so that's, we're still going, we're still plugging away, and we've been watching the, oh, why, why, I don't even want to say her name because I can't get it right, but Jamie from the Gil, oh, see, I'm going to slaughter it. Anyway, you guys all know her. We all love her. Gilbred Homestead, I think that's what it is. I have to work. I don't get to watch. And, all and this how stuff. her and her husband and their two children and how they just oh. got land in the Appalachian. And we're so excited for them. We're so excited to watch them because that's going to be us. <laughs> we're so excited. So, anyway. Um, we're going to get back where we actually have a homestead and can grow things. Can start doing and things. And even in Pennsylvania, we've got some wonderful things planned to be able to put on. Um, just bear with us for a few more weeks to do some more talky than looky dewy stuff. But um, anyway, still like us, subscribe to us, um, tell people we're out there because we, we don't want to dwindle away and we really need help to grow. And we will promise you that it won't be a loss to be able to watch us after a while.